Hello, welcome to the House of Time. Today we're going to do an important video that'll be of great information to a lot of people who have clocks repaired or moved clocks. And when they move them from a running position to another place in the house, they quit working. 99% of the time it's because the clock is out of beat. And we're going to talk about that a little bit today and I'm going to show you how to put a clock in beat and that will save you a lot of grief. But we're going to, as our demonstration clock, we're going to use a repair I have in here. This is a um, Seth Thomas clock from probably the 1880s. And if you can come around back here, Kathleen, and we're going to take a look inside of it. Open this up. I want to talk just a minute about how this works. Um, here's your mainspring down here, and that's wound all the way up, which we're going to do another video on clock myths and winding the mainspring too tight is going to be one of them. We're going to do a video on that shortly. But assuming the clock is in good running condition and assuming the escapement, which is this, this is the escapement part right here. You have the pallet and the escape wheel. Assuming that that is in working condition, it's pretty easy to put a clock in beat. So here's how it actually works. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to be brief on this because I know a lot of people don't care about that, but you have to understand a little bit about this to put it in beat. So this is where the clock has stopped. Okay, now as soon as you give this a little bit of push, what's happening is on this tooth here, you can see a tooth comes down and hits this inclined plane on this pallet, which pushes it in this direction. All right, when it pushes it in this direction, then here's your pendulum that's suspended right here on the end of that, the pendulum rod. There's a, it goes through a hoop in this wire, that's the verge wire right here and it'll give it a little impulse this direction. And then when the tooth comes over and hits this one, there's a little angle right here and it will push it away from it. So you have virtually what you have is a push, 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 push. From each, it receives one impulse from each tooth on each side. So what you have to be careful of is you have to make sure that it gets an equal impulse on both sides. When a clock is out of beat, it'll go tick, 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 and I'm going to throw this clock out of beat, and then I'm going to put it back in so you can hear the difference. Now, you can hear it now, and that's pretty close. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out of beat a little bit. Now listen to it. Give it a minute till it slows down. You can't really tell when it's zipping along like that. You have to just slow it down a little bit. Here have, has, has a heavier beat on one side. Dunk, 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 dunk. Now I'm gonna throw it way out of beat and you can really tell, okay? In fact, it's so far out of beat it won't run. So let me put it back a little bit. If your clock sounds like that, it's way out of beat. It has a tick, 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 tick. It should be a nice even tick tock sound. But you can see from this video right here that this pallet is going way in and this one's barely hitting it. So you're getting a huge impulse on this side and virtually nothing on this side. What will happen was eventually when the amplitude drops off, when the motion gets smaller, in fact, it just happened now, it will stop the clock because see how it's just stopped right there. So it's real easy to put a clock in beat. First, make sure it's level, make sure the clock is in good condition and then this wire right here is a verge wire. It's brass and it's generally very soft, so you can actually bend it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a pair of long nose pliers and we're gonna grab this right about here, okay? Keep that steady. Then with your other finger, we're gonna bend that wire. We're actually bending this wire in this direction. Now we'll try it again. Tick, tick. Tick, tick. It's still out of beat. Okay, so let's do it a little bit more. I'm gonna bend that wire just a little bit more. Better, but it's still out of beat. All right, let's try it a little bit more. I might have went too much, so you go back the other way.
that's pretty close. See how it's nice, an even sound beat? And then you look at here, and it should go down on this escape wheel tooth and slide off the same amount as on this one. And then the other thing you want to check is make sure that this rod is in the middle of this hoop right here. Because if it's pushing on one side or the other, there's going to be friction that's going to stop the clock. So this has to be absolutely free here too. This will work on any kind of clock that has this kind of an escapement. Um, it'll work with a deadbeat or a recoil escapement. We'll get into all the different kinds of escapements in, a, in other videos, how to tell the difference between the two. And um, we're going to do some uh, tall case beat adjustments here shortly also. But on mantle clocks, find your place where you're going to put it. Put it on a level place. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but put it where you want it. Make it look like it's in good, a good position. And then you can adjust it for where it sits and you can adjust it. Heck, you could have this clock running, running on uh, uh, an incline like this if you're so in, inclined to do it. I mean, you know, that's a lot of space difference, but um, typically I set all the clocks I repair on a level surface. So if you put a level on top of the clock, it should be fine. You're not gonna have to do this. But if your house is a little bit lopsided like mine is, I have a 1790s house and nothing is straight or flat or level um, whenever you move something you need to readjust the clock so that's uh, the in beat uh, check back we're gonna have some more videos from the house of time thank you very much